reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading on this Easter Sunday comes from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. We have been reflecting on the resurrection of Christ as the action of God. And because it is the action of God, it is a gift of life in God, a share in the very life of God, experienced by Jesus in a deeply and uniquely personal way, but also shared with us. And that is the main point of the second reading. While Jesus' experience of the resurrection cannot be repeated, it is unique to Him. According to St. Paul, however, we who are baptized, we who believe in Jesus as the risen one, we also have risen with Him. And so in baptism, we have, according to our level, a share in the very life of God, thanks to the action of God associating us to the new life, the risen life of Christ in our baptism and in our faith. And so, the life that we possess now as believers is not just our ordinary earthly human life. While that is true, we remain here on earth, existing as people walking in history still. According to our faith, we also possess divine life, thanks to the resurrection of Christ. And so St. Paul can say that our lives are now hidden in God, where Jesus is as the risen one. Jesus is now fully in the presence of God and sits at the right hand of God. We also are there with Him. Our life is in God now. And that now has some imperatives for us. Because our life belongs to God and we possess life in God, our daily living here on earth should be focused on things of God. Look at that combination. We remain here on earth, but our vision, our hearts are focused on godly things while here on earth. Now, some of us may say, okay, does that mean that uh, we will be rendered blind to the concerns of this world by living a life in God? Will we now avoid the problems of this world? Will we close our eyes to poverty, to injustice? No. Living here on earth with the life of God, which is the resurrected life of Jesus, and having our hearts and our persons focused on things of above, of, the, of God, that will not remove us from earth. If we live by the life of God, who is love, then our life here on earth will be a life of justice, of truth, of fairness, of respect for human life and for every human being. It will be a life of caring for creation, for that is the very life of God. So dear brothers and sisters, let us show to the world that we believe in the risen one and that we truly share in his risen life. Being rooted in this earth, our minds and our hearts are focused on God and we live God here on earth. In this day and age, Social networking has become a very convenient mode of communication among people. With just a click and the power of the internet, you are able to reach your loved ones wherever they are. 
On the other hand, it is saddening and alarming to know that there are some people who take advantage of the reach and availability of social networking sites, spreading scandals and false information about a certain entity or personality, engaging in fraud and scams, and at times pretending to be someone else. Recently, I have been getting reports that there are fan pages and personal accounts under my name and are circulating over Facebook. To set the record straight, I have no personal Facebook account. Rather, I have only one Facebook page, and it is being maintained by Jesuit Communications. I seek your help in reporting fraudulent pages and accounts, not only those concerned with myself, but also with other people and entities. Let us keep the social networking world a good communication venue by being truthful.